Welcome to a place called Grace Devotional Day 8. As you know, you can check out the blog post on www.crowndandgloryblog.wordpress.com or you can also click the link in the description box and it will take you right to the page. Today's devotional is titled Locked In and honestly it just reminded me of what a year 2020 was. And in that time, a lot of countries did go in lockdown and many others had restrictions. Throughout those months, a lot of growth has happened or had happened in people's lives where, you know, you begin to realize sometimes it's not just being out there that makes you feel alive, but rather being indoors with God that actually revives your fire. And in today's devotional, I actually spoke about how Moses had an encounter with God. He had an encounter at the burning bush. That story honestly reflects the beauty of being alone with God. Sometimes you can be in a place that you don't even expect to encounter the Lord, but he reveals himself to you. And we see that with Moses' story. He encountered God at a place that he never expected because he was running away from what he had done. And in that time, in that moment, he encountered the marvelous grace and love of God. Revivals and encounters with God don't just happen at church, prayer circles, um, events that are Christian events. They can happen even indoors where it's just you and the Lord. The Lord can encounter you in such a powerful way when it's just you and Him. When we look back at history and we see how various revivals happened, it started with one person being desperate for the Lord, hungry for his word, and thirsty for his righteousness. We tend to admire those before us and think to ourselves, wow, that was an amazing man or woman of God. Wow, look at how God used so and so. Wow, look at how many people attended that crusade. We ask such questions without realizing that God wants to use us too. God is looking for those that are hungry for him, those that are desperate for him, those that want to be used by him, not just those that want to be used as well, but those that are yielding to him and and really saying, Lord, use me. In that place of seclusion with the Lord, we learn to hear his heartbeat. We learn to know what pleases him and what displeases him. We learn how to lay our lives down and pick up our cross and reveal the Lord to the world. The Lord is waiting for you. He's waiting to speak to you. He's waiting to spend time with you. He's waiting to ignite a fire within you that won't just light up your house, but your community. And once your community is lit up with Jesus, it goes to the world. It goes to the nations. And from there, oh wow, tell me about a world that's on fire for Jesus. Come into the presence of God and get to hear him speak to you. Stay encouraged and let's keep running to a place called grace.